Situational leadership is the ability for a manager, leader, or really anyone to adapt their actions and behaviors to their given situation or context. And so you're looking for a few factors in any context to determine which behavior should I take. The first is time. So how much time do you have in a given situation? And of course, as managers and leaders, sometimes we'll think about time and think, oh, I'm always strapped, I'm always strapped, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. But I encourage you to think about this as a longer term investment as well. So some of the actions we're gonna give you today take a lot more time than others, but have longer term impacts and longer term investment potential. Other actions, you're truly in an urgent scenario where you have to make a decision because you're on deadline and we're gonna give you actions for those too. So the first uh, context variable is time. The second is um, how the, looking at the team member. So what is the skill and the willingness of your team member to complete a task? So skill of your team member, I want you to consider um, you know, both their technical skill today, like where are they in their capacity to do the work, and also their potential and their competencies, like what are their behaviors and what is their potential that would aid them in being successful in this work, even if it's not something they've done in the past, it's not something they have direct experience with. And then willingness, that's a mix of motivation and buy-in, right? Motivation and engagement. What's the person's emotional willingness and connection to do the work and willingness to complete the task as you'd like them to reach the results? And so those are the three factors, time, skill, and will. And then considering those three factors, you're gonna take one of four actions as a manager or leader. You're either directing, and so you're more telling your team how to do the work. Directing can be seen as more authoritative and sort of top down. Directing could also just be instructive, giving them the information they need to do the work in the way that you're looking for them to do it. You could be selling. So in a selling situation, you are asking questions, getting buy-in, getting consensus, soliciting different ideas and opinions to build this sort of community-based consensus-driven result. The next is supporting. So in a supporting engagement, you are coaching, training, practicing, um, working hand in hand, pairing with someone, having them shadow you, anything where you are working normally pretty one-to-one -one with the other individual to develop them, to help them gain the skill. They're already bought in and excited to do the work. They just need some help in training. And then lastly, that's delegating. That's your classic laissez-faire, uh, passing off the work to the other individual because they're fully skilled, they're fully willing, and it's just time for you to let go and step back.